Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to cut a person out of a photo and pop them on another background. This is really helpful if you are uh, wanting to do studio photography, uh, quote unquote studio photography, but you don't have like a professional background or anything like that. You could technically take a picture of a person up against a blank wall, cut them out, and put them on any background you want. So to get started with this, uh, this video here, we're going to take this person right here and place them on this background to make it kind of look like they're, you know, taking a portrait of themselves outside. Um, so the lighting won't be exactly right, but maybe we can try to do a little tricks to correct that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, quick selection tool here. And you can just go up here. If if you don't see it up there and you just see magic wand right there, uh, you can just click and hold and you'll see quick selection here. And now we're going to increase the brush size of our uh, brush here. Uh, we're going to increase it a little bit to probably around 45 or so and take the hardness down a little bit and now we can paint over the subject that we have so I'm just gonna loosely paint over here I'm not gonna try to get exact on it uh, that's what we're gonna do a little bit later so all I'm doing is painting over that and you can see how it kinda selected it you got the marching ants right there and so with that selection what normal people would do a nor normal the, the the normal method for this would be to just cut this person out and if we do that that's what it looks like but you can see how bad it looks with all of the uh, all the white still showing so now we're gonna take care of that so I'm just gonna undo it and now I'm gonna click this little uh, this little box up here that says select and mask it used to be called refine edge but now it's called select a mask so when I click that I get to go into another menu and here you got a couple little options you got transparency up at the top and what this does is it blurs out or, or puts a transparent background on on the bottom remaining layer and so you can see if we bump that up that's what our original photo and this one just slowly shows the, uh, the the background layer so you can kind of get a preview of how it's going to look after you cut it out. I always leave it at 100 just to just you know to, to see what it's going to look like after I export this. Uh, we got the edge detection. This is a good method, the smart radius. Uh, what this does is it kind of tries to detect all of the, uh, the, the boundary points of your pixels here and tries to help you out just a little bit. It doesn't do perfect all the time, but it works most of the time. Uh, smooth is just going to smooth out your selection here. If we zoom in a little bit, maybe we can see a little bit of it. Uh, you can just kind of smooth it out. And you see how it kind of takes away the little fuzzies there. Uh, feather will will kind of fade it out a little bit. It won't do a good job on this particular photo. It's actually going to make it worse. Uh, so we'll just keep that there. Contrast, increase the blacks and the whites and the darkness of the, of the selection. Uh, that didn't really do a whole lot. And shift edge basically just shifts the edge in. You can see how we do that. It kind of contracts it a little bit or it shifts it out and you get more white. So I'm going to shift it in just a little bit. All right, so now we have some couple white spots here that we need to take care of. And one method to do this is with this brush over here. It's called the Refine Edge Brush Tool. So just click on that and you get a little brush here. And what, what you do is you paint over the edges of where you want to take away uh, contaminating colors. Uh, so I'm just going to click here and just going to start drawing a little bit and you can see just with that one little stroke I got rid of a lot of the white there same thing up here I'm just gonna draw around the edge right there just a little bit on the back here and then a little bit down here alright so and I'm gonna take the smoothness down just a little bit and see what happens with uh, this little area up here alright and so I think that looks pretty pretty good uh, not too bad for a quick little selection and uh, background removal now one step that a lot of people uh, do is they for the output method down here the output to uh, most people just keep it as selection but when you do that you lose the original photo so you got more selections down here you got layer mask which gives you a layer mask uh, so you can go back and take away stuff and add stuff later uh, a new layer uh, which is kinda of the same thing as selection just gives you a new layer a new layer with layer mask which is a really good option new document that opens up a new document and new document with layer mask it opens up a new document and also applies a layer mask usually I do the new layer with layer mask or just a layer mask so this one I'm just gonna do layer mask and click OK alright so now we have our uh, layer mask here so if I disable this uh, right there you can see that's our original photo and I'm gonna re-enable the layer mask and this is the cutout and placing the person on there. So now we are free to move this person around. I can play with rule of thirds here just to make it look a little nicer. I can enlarge it a little bit. 
And since I have my layer mask locked to my original photo, all my edits stay. So you can see how easy that was. Now you can pop in another background if you wanted to. You can go uh, do a whole lot of things. One thing we can do to try to match a little bit of the color, and this is kind of a little quick technique, is to apply a photo filter. So I'm just going to apply a photo filter, and what that does is just give a little bit of color between uh, the background and on top of the, the subject here. So I can increase the intensity of it. I won't do that de uh, technically because it doesn't look right. Uh, but I can change it to cool colors, uh, I can change it to warm colors, and do a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm just going to keep it at warm, uh, warming filter 85 and just decrease the uh, density a little bit. So you see it kind of blends in a little bit. It's not perfect, but it does uh, to kind of fake it a little bit. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on using the Select and Mask. Uh, it's a really great tool. Uh, if you don't have Photoshop CC and you have older versions, just look for the Refine Edge tool and you'll see it there. It all works exactly the same, except for the transparency slider. That's not available in the older models. But in the CC version, it's there, and it's a really great tool. So hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on the Select and Mask tool. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.